What is up, everybody? What do we got back here? Beaver pond. What do we got right about there? There? There. Beaver lodge. You can see this guy's, this guy's whole pond is backed way up. He's got his house behind us here, and these beaver have actually flooded it to where the point the water is level with the top of his septic system. So this is a damage removal job. So like, you know, I can legally go and pull apart a chunk of the dam, you know, to catch these beaver and so on and so forth because, I mean, they're doing damage and that's how it goes. Um, I got a feed pile out for this lodge over here. I'm actually doing a catch and cook beaver video. How's that sound? Something different? I'm gonna go set a few traps over here. I'll show you how to do it quick. I'm not gonna make it long. Um, yeah, go set some traps, cook a beaver. All right, you guys, here is the beaver lodge. It is not a very big beaver lodge, so I'm gonna assume that there are just a couple beaver in here. And the thing is with this, I trapped this lodge a few years back. The water was probably two or three feet shallower than this, so I'm gonna attempt to set an eight stand in one of these runs to try to ease it. And I'm actually gonna go pick a spot on the dam over there and just rip a little chunk out. Hopefully they may try to repair that. Yeah, so I didn't bring a, I didn't bring an ax. I gotta pry bar, I'm gonna knock a hole in the ice here. All right, you guys, there's a run there. Actually, there's a hole that comes out into this bog and it splits. Run out each side of the lodge. I'm gonna just gamble. This is a, a tighter run, okay? So I'm gonna take my Belial 330 here. By the way, best trap, best 330 out there. Hands down. That's what I've always, I've used lots. I've caught a lot of beaver, but over the years, the old Belial is the only 330 that retains its power like this. Okay, set the, see that? Keep your hands out of the trap or use a, use a safety. You can do that too. If, you're, if your Belials are brand new, you don't have to do this. But mine, these, these, they're older, so they tend to fall down. Always wire your safeties up, guys, okay? Even this guy here, we're gonna wire this guy up. There we go. Got my H stand right here. Always want the triggers on the bottom, you guys. You put the triggers on the top of your trap, or on the top of your trap, you're gonna cause fur damage. Okay, just I just want you guys to know that. Triggers on the top equal fur damage. Get that away from there, get that away from there. See that? No. I just got the top here. This is a homemade one. My, my, my buddy Tony made, actually. Let me take it. Run a wire through here. If, it, if it's open water, if you're scared you're going to lose your trap, tie a wire to this and then make this go to something on the shoreline. Okay, I'm not worried about losing this trap right here. This is a very narrow run. There's stuff on both sides of the run, so I'm gonna have these springs facing straight up and down like this. There we go. No, and I was in the water with my waders. That's what you wanna do. You wanna get in the water, honestly, and find the center of that run. I'm going back and forth. I could feel the center of the run. Right, yep. Right, yep. I'm just gonna set this trap, boom, right down to the bottom, the center of this run, okay? I'm gonna double check my pry bar here to make sure the bottom is right there. Okay, yep, the bottom is right there. All right, oh, there we go. Angling just a hair. That bottom, that set dead center of the bottom of the run. I'm even gonna, I have a stick here just to make sure, it's, it's a little bit deeper water. I'm gonna shove this right through that. This trap goes off, That that's not going anywhere. The beaver's going nowhere. Trap number one. All right, guys. I went to set a foothold on the dam and the angle is just too, it's just too much. So I'm coming back, I got another 330. There's the one on that 
um, H stand. This one, I'm just doing, just free balling it pretty much, you could say. Hopefully, don't fall in. Not much ice here. I'm going old school with sticks again. All right, guys, find the bottom of the beaver run and just block the sides off with it. I mean, that's what you're essentially doing here. There's one side of the run. Boom, boom, boom. Here's the other side of the run. Like so. There's holes in these gloves. All right. Blocked off the run. Got my trap here. Wire both your safeties up, just like you would on the other set. Set's a little different. I'm gonna run a stake right through the eyes of the trap, like so. Place this trap on the bottom. Okay, you guys getting that so far? Okay, trap setting on the bottom. I'm gonna put my tie off to this metal post right here. Beaver pulls that off, it's gonna be a big one. A 4,000 pounder. Got my trap down there, I can see it actually. This goes through the jaws of the trap. Takes some talent to get that thing in there after a while, but push that through the jaws into the bottom. that my swivel stick there we go two traps set for two beaver we just want one well we want both but we want one for supper right boys all right see you on the check all right we're back here <clears throat> to check Ooh, the waters just went down a little bit see if we get one of these beavers to eat. That was the plan. I don't know. That one. I don't know. That trap over there looks like it's messed up. Please be a beaver in one of these. We need a beaver to eat, guys. It's just that simple. Let's, let's look at this one. That trap is not set off. This trap is set off, it looks like. <clears throat> oh, I see a tail. I see a tail. All right, you guys. So I made that set quick. You guys seen that? Oh, oh I'm gonna pull this stick out right here. blocking off sticks and there's a beaver right there you guys nailed it just like I'd planned and I got that beaver coming out I can tell by the way I had my trap set here we go there we go you guys look at that right behind the front shoulders it really doesn't get better than that so you guys saw that was a quick easy set block both sides of the runoff get a 330 down there 
I mean, beaver aren't that hard to trap unless you actually get them trap shy by missing them in a set or two. Anyway, we're gonna take this beaver right here and we're gonna turn it into this. This, right here. All right, we have our beaver here. Um, this is the hind quarters, okay? And then right above the hind quarters, this is kind of where the start of the back straps are at, okay? I'm gonna make this kind of quick. <clears throat> Um, I didn't skin the beaver on video because YouTube doesn't like it when people do that and they mark it as gruesome or graphic or something really dumb like that. I'm going to put the link in a beaver skinning video though down in the description so you guys can see that. I'm going to tell you quick, when you skin these beaver out, <clears throat> be very careful. Um, in the beaver skinning video you'll see there's castor gland and oil gland, an oil gland right between the beaver's legs there. You do not want to hit that gland when you're skinning these beaver out. It will taint the meat, it'll be horrible. Make sure when you um, skin these out, you'll see on the outside of the legs there'll be like little glands also. Um, make sure you get all the glands off. No fat, you do not want beaver fat. Okay, There's this looks like, this is just actually like tallow. This isn't fat. Um, get every single chunk of white blubbery marshmallow looking fat off of your beaver. Uh, another thing is you want a nice you know, you want to pat this down with a towel or something. You want a nice, dry beaver. You don't want your beaver too wet when you're doing this. Um, or else the next part isn't going to work very well. What I'm going to do quick here is I have a big pan. I'm actually turning this up on, like, medium-high heat. I'm going to put seasoning salt and, like, Montreal steak seasoning um, all over this meat. I'm going to put it in the pan, and I'm just going to sear it on all the sides and just try to seal in a bunch of that flavor, okay? Alright, so I might have had the heat too high on that pan. But I turned the I turned the heat up to like medium high and just so I can sear all the outsides of this beaver. Um, the outside is brown pretty much everywhere around. I got some Johnny seasoning salt, Montreal steak seasoning. Put that out there. You guys can use whatever you want, obviously. I got a couple other pieces in here. And then uh, I just put them in the crock pot here. I have my crock pot set on high heat. Bugger in there. Put this on in there, right in there. Um, <clears throat> another step I want to tell you about that's also important that I didn't mention. I soaked these beaver legs last night in salt water. It helps draw out some of the gamey flavor and any blood, you know, that might be in the meat. <clears throat> Take some, you know, just some. I have to just have a can of beef broth here. So this isn't this isn't super fancy, guys. got a can of beef broth here um, I'm gonna set this on high well it's on high right now and we're gonna come back um, <clears throat> to this meat in gosh what time is it now 930 I don't know I like to do it for eight to ten hours to get that beaver really tender so um, next quick step is gonna be vegetables you can do this one of two ways you can you can come back to this four hours before it's done and top this off with your vegetables you can do whatever you want carrots onions leeks potatoes, um, anything that you would want to do on a normal roast. I personally sometimes like to do it in tin foil on the side um, in some butter and some other stuff and that's what I plan on doing today so we'll jump to one of those steps. Alright, uh, another quick part of my video. Uh, the beaver's been on for probably about eight hours now. It's actually looking really good. I let it sit for, well it's probably going to be about another 45 minutes once this gets done here. <clears throat> Here I have some vegetables, I got asparagus, I got baby carrots, I got potatoes, and I have some onions. All just chopped up. Um, I got some seasoning salt on here, I'm going to put some butter in here. I'm going to wrap this up very, very tightly so there's no, you know, leaks so that it can actually steam on the inside of this foil packet. And I'm going to let these cook for 35 to 40 minutes and that will be plenty of time to cook these veggies through. And by the time that is done, everything will be ready. And I will cut to that as soon as I'm done. All right, you guys, here is the end result of the Catch and Cook Beaver video. This is the hind quarters right here and some of the back strap. Um, and these are all those vegetables that I chopped up. I, there's asparagus, potatoes, carrots, and there are green onion ends in here. There's one right there. <clears throat> um, I cooked, I put all these together with some seasoning, salt, and some butter, wrapped them in, double wrapped them in tin foil in the oven at 400 degrees for about 40 minutes. 
um, is how I did that. The beaver itself, you saw me saw or you saw me sear it, put it in the crock pot with some with some beef bullion. That was it. I didn't put anything else in the crock pot with it. It was just the beaver. Did that for probably nine hours on high. And I mean, this is I mean, it's falling off the bone. Look at that. You're not going to find a better you know organic meat because you know all the eater roots and this and that and bark. They don't eat anything else. So I'm going to take some of this. Actually, I'm going to go with this chunk of backstrap right here. I'm going to try that quick. All right. There it is. It's amazing. No like gamey flavor or nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna burn my tongue, but here's some asparagus and potatoes. Mm. Mm. Asparagus is definitely way overdone. I've never put asparagus in tin foil like that before for so long. I figured it would get overdone. But the carrots and potatoes and onions are fantastic. But uh, yeah. Hopefully I didn't leave anything out in this video. Um, <clears throat> all the preparation. Like I said, I'll put the video in the description for the uh, actual skinning of the beaver. That way you guys can see that part. Sweet. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Trying to get thirty, get, trying to get to thirty thousand subscribers. I'm at almost twenty nine thousand. I probably will be here in the next day or two. But then I'll be putting up ice fishing videos like crazy here in the upcoming weeks. We're almost to walkable ice. Um, it's gonna be fantastic. Anyway, you guys, cheers. Thanks for watching.